Bon Appetit magazine giving a sandwich some high marks for its Steel City style. When it comes to fine dining, you don't think of pastrami as the first meat that will put a restaurant on the map. But in Pittsburgh, the popular lunch meat does the trick. They really wanted it to feel like Pittsburgh, so I figured when we put the menu together, we should, we should put some fun things on there to kind of not make fun of Pittsburgh, but kind of just, you know, give a little nudge to the things we're famous for, which yeah. is French fries on things. Yeah. <laughs> Specifically this pastrami sandwich, whipped up at Whitfield at the Ace Hotel in East Liberty. House-made pastrami, aged provolone, um, uh, a vinegar-based slaw, and then house-cut fries on nice, thick Pullman bread. Bon Appetit magazine rated the eatery one of the top 50 new restaurants in the country. And the food magazine says the sandwich comes in as the number two sandwich in America. And the chef says we're cranking them out. I mean, it's delicious. We sell a lot of it. We, we run out of it a lot, only, I mean, the process of making the pastrami takes a while, so it cures for 10 days, and then it smokes for around two hours. So um, I guess we'll have to start making a lot more. Even though the tasty treat is Bethany's idea, she gives a big nod to the quality meats and the hometown creation. All the beef is from Jubilee Hilltop Ranch, which is in Bedford, and um, it's 100% grass-fed beef. That sandwich was number two. The grand prize winner is found on the other side of the state in Philadelphia, of all places. The classic lox sandwich prepared at Philly-style bagels. At least Eagle, Philly, and Flyer fans can enjoy the food in the city of Philadelphia. Ah, right? That's making me hungry. <laughs> I want that sandwich. That pastrami looks awesome. Ooh.